My name is Sierra Flores and I am the Everyday Educator. If you're new here, hi, hello, and welcome. Thank you for stopping by. Please click like if you enjoyed this video, share it so that others can learn from it as well, and then also hit subscribe so that you never miss a video. Those of you who are returning, welcome back. So good to see you. Thanks for stopping by. The topic of today's video is all about help. So a lot of times when we're in Canvas and we're exploring, we get stuck and we need some help. So the focus for today is going to be teaching you how you can contact Canvas support and learn how to use the help guides. And that's one of those things that not a lot of people really know about. So, so without further ado, let's get into it. So let's say that you are exploring Canvas, you're in your sandbox, you're working, you're creating your course, you're doing an awesome job, but then you get stuck. You don't have my number on speed dial, you can't just call me and tweet me though. But what I do want you to know is that there's a way for you to get help because sometimes your parents are going to need help, your students are going to need help, you as a teacher are going to need help. So if you get into that situation, I would like for you to know that you can navigate down to this button here that says help. So whenever you get here, you'll see that the very first link is to Canvas support. I really like this because you can chat with somebody actually there, a rep from Canvas itself, so that you can speak with them and do the live chat feature. And so all you'll do is click to start the chat. And then here you'll see that you just populate your information, write all that in. What I like is that you can do this from multiple roles, depending on who you are as a Canvas user. But this is really cool too, because you can rate the severity of your question. Is it something that you need help, but it can wait all the way down to, it's a critical extreme emergency. So, that is how you can start a chat and then someone will get to you. This is Canvas Live Support Chat. Another thing that you can do here that I really, really like, you can um, go down here to the bottom for COVID-19 Canvas resources. And so that's going to help us during this pandemic of 2020. And so another area that I want to highlight is the phone number. And so some people like to talk on the phone. They don't like this texting business. So just call somebody and speak to them directly. Lastly, you can go to the Canvas guides. This is where I learned most of what I know from Canvas is just self-taught. And so I've been through this a lot and I've made a lot of mistakes. And because I've made so many mistakes, that's what makes me a better teacher in my opinion. And so I'm gonna go down a little bit to show you the guides. And so here you can access the actual guides that I'm talking about. But before I go in, I want to take you right here to video guide. I want to draw attention to the video guide because there are multiple ways that people learn. And some people need a video to learn how to do something. And so by showing you this, it is one way for you to get that extra added support if there's a topic in Canvas that I have not created a tutorial on yet might be one in here for you to use but if you just really like watching my videos then definitely watch my version but there's an alternate as well so you can go here to the canvas guides this is very very detailed and so you need to think what is my role am i a student that needs help am i a principal someone on the admin team that needs help am i observer this is where um, you might put in your parents and then also um, teachers who, who are not necessarily adding to Canvas courses as teachers, but observers, they can't really have, they don't have any editing rights. They will click here as well. But as the instructor, this is where you are going to go. And keep in mind that you can share these guides and these links out with your kids, with their parents, so that that way you don't have to the, um, play the role of teacher and tech facilitator at the same time during remote learning. And so if you come down, I'm just going to do a quick scroll 
it goes on and on. There are so many, literally anything that you specifically want, you will be able to find that. So for example, one way, one something that I do whenever I need to find something fast, I press control F and then that will pop open um, a search box for me. And then I can type in anything that I want to find. So let's see that I wanted to focus on discussions. There is where it's gonna tell me all about discussions and I'll click there. Yeah, but I also had a question about announcements. Announcements. And so now I see all the areas that have announcements. I can go here and navigate to find what is my specific question about that announcement. And actually, the question that I want to explore is how do I, here, let me scroll down to it. How do I show recent announcements in the course homepage? So I'll click there. And now I can see that there is a guide here, a step-by-step -step guide with screenshots that show me exactly where do I click what do I do in order to answer the question that I was having so much trouble with? Now, this, oh no, my phone, oh, whoopsies. Need to plug that in, right? So I gotta finish this video quick before my computer dies. So this is one area that you'll be able to go to to figure out what are um, the answers to all of my Canvas questions. Now, Again, I went to, I'll go to it again from the very beginning. You click on help, scroll down, search the Canvas guides. From here, you are going to go to Canvas guides, and then you need to select your role. Are you a parent? Are you admin, student, or are you an instructor? And then for this section, it's just all of your basics on Canvas. So I hope that this was very helpful for you and that you're able to use this at, to answer any questions that I am not able to answer for you um, immediately. And so definitely if this was helpful, click like, definitely share it with others because they might need to know this information too. But as always, click subscribe so that that way I can give you more of my tips, more of the tricks that I use to help me become a better teacher, a better person, and help do my part to make this world literally a better place. So enjoy!